And new on primetime with all the major stories over the last two weeks from the assassination attempt on a former president and the heated race for the White House being well underway. Threats and violence are a major concern heading into the November election. So I spoke with Allegheny County officials and local law enforcement agencies, including FBI Pittsburgh, to find out how they're preparing. The FBI tells KDKA it has seen threats to election workers rising across the country. These include online threats and harassment, white powder and letters to election facilities, and swatting against election workers. FBI Director Christopher Wray faced questions from lawmakers Tuesday over the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. Pennsylvania Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon raised questions about election safety in our battleground state. How is the FBI working with state and local law enforcement to prevent and respond to election-related violence, particularly against election workers? Director Ray told her the FBI is partnering with state and local law enforcement. We share, you know, threat bulletins, information like that about things to be on the lookout for, things we're seeing. Uh, if we ever have specific threat information, then we work to get it to the right people. We have election crime coordinators, which we've had for decades uh, in all 56 field offices. The FBI is also participating in the election threats task force the Justice Department set up. Ray says it's already led to a number of arrests and convictions. Allegheny County's Director of Administrative Services Jessica Garfolo says county election officials meet with the task force monthly. Maybe the FBI is seeing that they want to make everyone aware of, but they offer training materials and tabletop exercises. And we're going to use some of that information to craft um, de-escalation training for our poll workers and threat mitigation training. Allegheny County Sheriff Kevin Krause says his team is already meeting to talk about what may or may not happen before, during and after the election. The county's always looking for poll workers. They expect to have 6,000 like last election. Garfolo says the county hasn't had any credible threats towards poll workers or staff. It's the person that lives down the street from you that's working at the polls. So. There's a sense of community and people feel very protective. And I think that keeps them safe, the poll workers and the voters safe. So it hasn't been a huge concern, but I still think with today's political climate, it's good that we're thinking ahead to November to keep everyone protected. In the wake of the attempted assassination, the Shapiro administration said it's been working to mitigate any threats to the election process and reminds people they have an election hotline. Voters and poll workers can call 1-877-VOTES-PA to report violence, threats, voter intimidation, or election fraud. The FBI says people can also report any suspicious activity by calling 1-800-CALL-FBI. And of course, if you're in danger, call 911.